Hello everybody and thank you for joining me for another how-to video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build a basic MTDI injection pump using a Volkswagen 1.6 TD pump and a AHU TDI 10 millimeter pump. We'll be slapping them together to make one MTDI injection pump. We'll be starting all the way from a stripped body, starting from nothing essentially, and building this thing all the way up. And if you want to see how I took it apart, take a look at the video up here, and I'll show you how to get her done. As of filming, I haven't had a chance to run the thing yet, but when I do, I'll post the link or add a clip right here, and you'll be able to see the proof. For now, let's get into it. So this right here is what we're going to start with. This is the body of the 1.6 TD pump completely torn apart. So while nothing else is in the pump, we're going to press our seal in. It's the easiest time to do it because we're starting with a 1.6 TD pump. This is a 17 millimeter seal. Just keep in mind this may be different for you. Next thing we're going to put in is this vein pump outer ring. This one is out of the TDI. It's a little bit better because, well, this one is gross, super gross. And if there's one thing you don't want corrosion in, it's a vein pump. They're dimensionally identical. And this one, it's all one uniform diameter. And this one, it just has a raised bit in the middle. And that makes it much easier to pull in and out. So that's what I'm gonna use. Now we're gonna be putting the pump guts in. So stick this core through. This one has to be from your 1.6 pump to match for your main shaft. And then we're gonna put all of our little veins in. There's a tiny U shape on this. That points towards the middle. Now we're gonna cap off the vein pump with a plate. Every single pump I've taken apart has got a different one. This is a TDI. This is a 1.6 TD, and this is a D24. So they're all a little bit different, but dimensionally they're the same. Um, I assume that something warranted this design change, so we're going to use the TDI plate. And be sure it pokes up like this. I really ought to mention at this point that you can get this vein pump upside down. <laughs> so remember, your narrow side is this way. This is the top of the pump. Just double check that before you finish it off. A fly. Leggy fod. Leggy fod. Damn. I'm a ninja. So the vein pump is now all together. I torqued it down with the Torx bits from the TDI pump, which I figured would be better. The Phillips bits that are used in the old um, 1.6s, they could be a little stiff. So I figured the Torx would be the way to go here. Okay, next we're going to put in the fuel pressure regulator. This is out of the TDI pump and it controls the pressure in the pump body before it gets injected. Going to put the banjo style inlet on from the 1.6 TD just because it's lower profile than this other one. I don't want it to get in the way now that we have a lever. This is a 17 millimeter. Now to put our governor gear on, we got our main shaft there. This has got two directions. One's got a ridge and the other's flat. In this orientation, the flat will face up. Put that down here and then push these little elastics. These came with my rebuild kit. I don't know if it comes with all of them. And I put the stars up just because they're fun. So now we're going to put our main shaft in. Here we go, we got it with our governor gear. We're going to take this plate with the reliefs in it, put it on this OD, and then take this keyway, the rounded side of the keyway is there, and then the flat side po points up, then we're going to There we go, that's what we're looking to see. Okay, next we're gonna put this roller cage in and include this advance pin. 
the roller cage is from the 1.6 and the advanced pin is from the TDI. It's a little bit different. This has got a relief cut in it because the TDI has got more advanced. So we'll drop this down in here. Now we'll put the advanced assembly in. That's going to be this right here. Let's drop this fella in. We're gonna go in from, take our pick. Now we can drop the locking pin in. Make sure that goes all the way down. And then our retainer. There we go, that'll keep our pin in. Now we're going to be putting our advanced spring in. Let's start by putting this seal here. We got a spacer our spring we got another spacer and then for the TDI we're using this um, very concave one the 1.6 TD doesn't have as much of an advance so it has a shallower cup here's the 1.6 TD here's the TDI one we're using the TDI one and this TDI housing also has a little lip in it that lip faces up Let's see if I can't sneak this on top. There we go. Beautiful. Put some T30s in there and just get them started. On this side of the pump, the TDI uses a flat plate. Got the seal in, got our flat plate. Now I gotta find a couple more fasteners. All right, let's throw our rollers in. These are the TDI rollers. Got the assembly right here. There's a little plus that goes on the inside. Now we're putting in our coupler and cam plate. Both of these are from the TDI. No spring needed for this one. And stop you right here. This is somewhere where you can mess things up. You gotta make sure your cam plate is pointed with this little lock pin matching where it is on the main shaft. I double checked, made sure it's pointed up upwards on the pump. But otherwise you can get this thing 180 degrees out. There we go. Next we're gonna put on our K-shim little thing right here now let's drop our plunger this has a little slot that goes into that key down there and she's in now we'll drop this here little spring and it's twin on the other side now we're gonna put our 10 millimeter head on. I don't know if I mentioned this with the plunger assembly, but that and everything from the cam plate on up is going to be TDI. So let's get our head on. All right. We just went into the recesses on the head. And now we can torque it down. Let's get our K dimension, which is the dimension between the centerpiece and our ring right here. Just wanna be sure it was the same as the TDI when we took it apart, which was 3.95, 3.94. I think I can live with that. Um, I'll be honest with you, I've already gone and changed them. So we got the 1.6 TD shim in it actually. Um, before I was a little bit uh, small, and the 1.6 TD shim was a little bit smaller, so I went ahead and put that in, and looks like we're good. So all those fasteners are torqued down to 10 foot-pounds, or roughly 12 newton meters, and now I can put this cap. Got a new seal on our kit. We'll get her on there. Now we're gonna put our fulcrum lever in. 
And if it seems like we've been doing things backwards, this is why. Um, to make the Big Hammer Full Power MTDI, you need to modify this to act like a direct injection pump. And if you want to know more about that, the stroke of these fulcrum levers on the TDIs versus the TDs, take a look at the video above. And I did go into that in much greater detail. But for now, I'm just not confident in doing this kind of modification because it involves lengthening this. And I'd rather just make less power than have to worry about something welded together with one of my welds rattling around in my nice injection pump. But in the event that this turns out to just be a pitiful amount of power, I want to see if I can take the fulcrum lever out from this step. That way, I would know if I could do it while it's still installed in the car, and that would save me a ton of time. So let's get at it. To start with, I got some crush washers right here on our little three points. Let's get these started, because I feel like when I finally decide to go, I'm going to want to go and not have to fiddle with these. So we'll get these so they're just peeking in the housing. You yeah, ready? Next, we take our fulcrum lever and get it in the metering sleeve. And then I want to try to lift this up as much as humanly possible. All right, there we go. Now we can actually sneak our springs in here. Okay, there's one. There we go, in and out. Now let's try to line these up over here. Cool, so can it be done? Yes, would I recommend it? No, <laughs> put this on before you get the uh, the head on, unless you absolutely have to. Let's go ahead and get our governor and flyweights in. Lift these up. Drop our washer. And then our plunger. First we got our shaft. We're gonna put it in through the bottom until it just starts coming out of the out here in the body. Then we're going to take this, put it right here, and take the washer, put it right there, and then see if we can't get this right here. Perfect. Just get that started. This is one of our critical dimensions that you take as you're disassembling it. So we'll get it flipped over in a nicer orientation and we'll keep going. So we tighten the fastener up until it protrudes 7.65 millimeters, which is what we're looking for. Now we'll put the jam nut on, tighten that on, and we'll get moving to the lever stuff. Put our governor lever on. I put a new seal on it since this does tend to go bad. Come on in. There you go. Oh, lost you there for a second. Hopefully you didn't miss too much. But what I did do is I put on this LDA body on the top of the pump. And I also filled it with diesel since I needed to take a break to recharge the batteries. I just popped this little inlet off, stuck a funnel in there, and filled it with diesel until it started leaking. Okay, I had to finagle a bit off camera, but I think I got it. We're going to start with this clear spacer. Then we're going to take this little middle piece. The long side is going to point up from the collar. Take this, and we are going to 
loop the spring right there in that little catch. Get it kind of on here. Get it kind of on there. Then take this around that post. And then squeeze that down there. There we go. Have it like this. Just have the spring free floating. Be sure your tab is on this side of this one and don't hook this up to its final spot. Then we line it up. Cool. Washer. Nut. Just want it finger tight because I'm probably going to want to wobble this again. So we'll take this, hook it over on its tab, and then grab our other hook. So take it out. Now we're going to put our LDA diaphragm together. It all goes around this boost pin. You can actually see where the follower rides on this. So that's going to help us a lot. So we're going to start with one of these plates, our diaphragm. This side goes down, the cup side. And then let's get these two pointed together. So way down in the pump here, you can actually see that the follower is poking out. We got to Stick it back in. So I've got the star wheel screwed all the way down. That's not gonna matter for our initial test. We will uh, we'll do some tuning later. So that's all the way down. Here's our spring. Here's our diaphragm. This particular boost pin has a spacer, comes with it, rides right there. And we will get our mark pointed forward the way it lines up with that witness mark. There we go. Last, we're gonna put the top of our diaphragm on. So there we have it. There is our 10 millimeter MTDI injection pump built up from scratch and looking pretty nice if I do say so myself. So as of this filming, I haven't had a chance to actually run the pump yet, but when I do, I'll let you know how it goes. I'll show you how to tune it. And if all that sounds interesting, like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Until then, take it easy. Shoots.